Welcome back to the Girl Cave. Today, it's all about the State of the Union, aka the Girl Cave. I will give you a quick overview of what transpired here last year and what I hope for in this year 2020. Let's talk about finances first because it will be quick. <laughs> in 2019, I intended to do a no buy challenge and I did pretty well until March. There you have it. I was making a, a quilt for a coworker and I knew that she had a specific theme for her nursery and I found the perfect fabric and I just had to. But once I fell off the wagon, I fell off the wagon. After I fell off the wagon, I purchased a lot of embellishment packs and I purchased more sheets of paper than I actually used in 2019, but we're not going to dwell on that. I did not have a lot of embellishment, like these newer dye packs. So I purchased a lot of those and I put them in this notebook. But this doesn't really work for me because I like keeping track of how many products I use completely. And because I sorted these mostly by color, it just didn't give me a good way to track how many product I was using. So I'm going to tweak this in 2020 because this doesn't really work for me. As far as projects completed last year, I managed to complete a gift album for my youngest son of his time in the Air Force. I took all the pictures from his basic training and I made him an, an album with that. I also completed my 2009 trip to Puerto Rico. So that album is done. I also finished my Jamaica album. However, it's still needing a little bit of journaling. So I'm not going to count that as completed because it still needs a little bit of journaling. Not a lot, just a little bit. As far as quilting, I finished the baby quilt and I made two other quilts that I gifted for Christmas this past uh, December. I finished a string quilt, but that one is not quilted yet, so it, it's a partial finish. I need to quilt it. And something that I do here is when I have fabric scraps that are not big enough for me to use in another project, I put them in a pillowcase that I make myself and then I sew it shut and I take those beds to the local shelters for the dogs so you know they have a nice soft place to take a a nap or sleep through the night or when people adopt them they can choose a bed. I did not keep track of how many beds I created last year. I don't have an idea as to how many specifically I've made but I would conservatively say that I've probably made at least 300 beds, not in one year, but in a couple of years. So that's something that, that I do because I love animals and I have fabric scraps and I don't want to throw them away because that's just wasteful. So they get put to good use. I also did a collab this year with Janet Madison from RTS Scrapbooking and Scrapbook Generations. We did a six by six paper pad class and this was the layout that I created. So I had a lot of fun with that. So all in all for 2019, I created 62 pages, scrapbook pages, because I mostly scrap double page layouts that's a total count of 39 scrapbook layouts i use completely 115 sheets of paper so that is not half the sheet not three quarters of the sheet 
the entire sheet of paper, 115. I had 41 empties, meaning that I used 41 products completely. Now, these may have been products that were already started, um, but I used 41 empties. And of purchase page kits, I completely used six of them. I also created an inventory list for my scrapbooking supplies. I had done one previously for my quilting supplies. So I divided them between consumables and non-consumables. I listed them in alphabetical order and I wrote where each of those items is stored in my room. So this is going to help me keep track of my supplies, what comes in and what goes out and what I'm not using. So I need to use those products as well. I also attended two weekend scrapbook retreats this year and one day crop. During that day crop, I did not scrap at all. What I did was I sorted my pictures and I created page kits and that was amazing. I think that moving forward, I will take one day where I just create page kits and nothing else so that I, when I go to a retreat or even when I'm home, it's a little easier and faster to work on layouts. I also attended two quilting retreats. Those are five day retreats. And I really enjoy that time with my friends and I get a lot done at the quilt retreat. For this year, as far as finances go, I am attempting a no buy challenge again. However, I've given myself a budget of $40 because I know that eventually I'm going to get that little itch, that little wanting, especially because Daisy keeps posting what she finds on those trucks from Tuesday morning and I just drool and get palpitations every time I watch her videos. Oh, I love her videos. And I also want to keep better track of what I produce, what comes in and what goes out of my uh, girl cave. So I created this spreadsheet and I've set a, a goal for, I want to create 52 layouts, not just 52 pages, but 52 layouts. So that will include double page layouts, single page layouts. And I'm going to use a hundred sheets of paper again and not bring in more paper pads because if we're honest last year I brought in more paper than I use but again we're not dwelling on that and I want to keep track of how many ATG refills I use because I have no idea and how many trimmer blades I use and then I created this chart here where I'm going to for each month of the year keep track of how many layouts I create how many pages if they're single pages double pages how many sheets of paper I'm using, how many products I am bashing, like I'm keeping count of my empties and that includes these. How many purchase page kits have I used? Not the ones that I create here at home, but how many of the ones that I've purchased because I don't wanna keep just buying things and then not using them. I wanna um, get a better hold of that. And I'm going to track how much money I spend. Now, I really don't want to spend more than $40 this year, but I can't tell you how much money I've spent in years past because I buy whatever I want. I pay cash and I've never kept track of it. But I think it's important to know what goes in and what goes out of your, your, your room. For my embellishment binder, because sorting them by color was not giving me the opportunity of tracking how how many packets, how many embellishment packets I was actually using up completely. I've decided that from moving forward, I'm going to put the entire package together. So this page right here, except for these two embellishments, came from the same package. And that way I can see when I've used it up completely. So I can tell right now I've used one two, three of these. I tried keeping the backs of the first few packets that I purchased this year. And I even wrote myself that I got it at Tuesday morning. 
at, for $1.99. I'm the date that I purchased it. But this one I didn't. And this one I didn't. And then I had started out, oh, I'm going to cross out the items as I use them. But as you can see, I only crossed out two and I know for a fact that I've used more of these. So I think this process here, even though it might not be as quick as sorting them by color when it comes to looking for an embellishment, because right now if I need something pink, I'll just turn to this and I can find something faster. But this will give me the satisfaction of seeing how much I'm actually using of my supplies. Would I get the same satisfaction if I sorted them by color? Maybe, but I think it would take longer. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I just, all I can tell you is this wasn't fulfilling me. <laughs> it just wasn't. I love it. It's easy to use. It's easy to find. But I don't know, maybe it's the accountant in me that has difficulty with that. So that's what I'm going to try this year. And if it doesn't work, then I'll try something new, all right? So what, I'm, what I know I'm going to do is not put everything. I'm not going to put all of my eggs in the same basket. I'm not going to put all of my embellishments in here by color. I'm not going to put all of my embellishments here by manufacturer. I'm just going to try it out a little bit at a time and see what works for me. Also for this year, I want to finish journaling my Jamaica album so that I can put it away. I want to work on my trip to Europe. I know that's going to be a project that's going to take me more than a year because we took over 600 pictures, but I've already created uh, several page kits and I have all the other pictures sorted by day that I'm going to scrap or by event. So eventually I'll sit down one day and put papers in them and hopefully that speeds up the process of documenting that trip. As far as my quilting, I want to focus on some UFOs. Those are unfinished objects or unfinished projects. I don't think that I will be starting any new projects this year, although I say that every year and then my friend Diane gets me hooked on something. But I really have enough projects that are halfway done that could take up this whole year. So I'm going to focus on my UFOs this year. And this year I am doing another collab with the Mini Kit Monday Girls. So I'm very excited. I will be a guest designer for the month of May and I'm looking forward to that. I will link my intro video to the Mini Kit Monday collab below and I will link my RTS collab video below so that you can watch that process as well. I hope to attend three scrapbooking retreats this year and two quilting retreats. The first quilting retreat is going to be actually at the end of this month and I did attend one scrapbooking retreat in January. It was a weekend retreat but I was only able to stay for one day because I had a family emergency uh, but I'm still gonna count that. My goal for this year is, again, to create 52 layouts, use up 100 sheets of paper, and keep better track of how many ATG refills, how many trimmer blades, and how many page kits I use, and how much money I spend. I want to keep a better track of what comes in and what goes out of my rooms. And I also want to keep track of my basket. I've put several things in here in my basket. Uh, items that I want to bash this year so I will keep track of that and I'll link this video below as well. So how are things in your creative space? Did you have a great year last year? Did you have some things that you might want to change? Maybe tweak? Did you have a lot of success? I hope you did. The state of the union here at the Girl Cave is very strong and I am looking forward to a great year and I hope to see you soon, right here at the Girl Cave. Bye.